I'm Adrian Peterson of the Minnesota Vikings, and you're watching the best sports coverage on News OK. Hi, I'm David Evan with NewsOK.com. Tonight, Oklahoma hosted a Kansas State team that's sitting atop the Big 12 North as Oklahoma comes off a win over Kansas last week. Bob Stoops and Bill Snyder are getting to know each other before the game. OU's opening drive went four plays, 60 yards. Landry Jones to Ryan Broyles for 15 yards to give Oklahoma the early 7-0 lead. After a K-State three and out, Oklahoma would get the ball back with great field position at the K-State 35. Here Jones hits Dewan Miller from 23 yards out. Nice catch and run to make uh, the Oklahoma lead 14-0. Sooner's next possession would go 61 yards on 14 plays. Jones hits Broyles here for a two-yard touchdown pass to make it 21-0, and it looked like the blowout was underway. OU would add another one-yard touchdown run from DeMarco Murray, and K-State would put six on the board, 28-9 heading into halftime. In the third, Kansas State cut the Oklahoma lead to 28-23 with 14 unanswered points to cut the Oklahoma lead to five at the end of three quarters. The Sooner offense finally got clicking again in the fourth quarter. On second and 42, Jones hits Murray for an 18-yard pass in the flats to set up an outstanding catch and run from Ryan Broyles on third and 24. Broyles finally pushed out at the Wildcats 17-yard line. Six plays later, Jones finds Murray for a six-yard touchdown in the corner. OU's drive, 15 plays, 67 yards. Sooners up 35-23. The K-State would not be put away. Wildcat Mr. Everything, Brandon Banks, takes the kickoff to the house, 98 yards for the touchdown. Bill Snyder's team still in the game and back down five. But on OU's next possession, the offense came back to show everyone what they're made of, especially Landry Jones, who completed his last 14 passes on the final two possessions. Here he hits Miller and Broyles for a big plays in the 11-play, 68-yard drive, which sealed the win with a three-yard touchdown run by DeMarco Murray, his third of the game. Sooners win a wild one, 42-30, and improve to 5-3 and 3-1 and three and in Big 12 play. Compliments to, to Kansas State, a well-played football game. Uh, really on both sides, and uh, just uh, exciting to see uh, overall just uh, our play, you know, through the whole day, just to come back in the, in the second half to answer back any time that they, you know, they came up and, and got a, a touchdown. Uh, really pleasing, I think, for the mo overall, just with all the, that we've gone through offensively through the year with personnel changes and all, to answer back and to keep answering back was really special. And then defense uh, there in the fourth quarter came up with a couple of stops when we had to have them. So it was really uh, just a positive game that way. Uh, no turnovers. Um, you know, uh, for us, I thought was uh, was really great. I thought we uh, ran the ball better, and that was really positive. Uh, really excited about what Landry Jones did today again, uh, along with, you know, a host of receivers uh, really stepped up. Ryan Broyles again had a huge day. You know, and uh, you know, Putinel came up with some nice catches to overcome a, a first and forever. Uh, you know, on the one drive was really, you know, again just compliment. Really excited about Landry the way and our and our overall execution there to overcome it. I had overcome a lot. I mean, those guys do. So I mean, I just right, I try. What's the longest I try to, as a coach you've had to try I, to? Coach I try not to screw it up. Um, <laughs> I don't know the way we play with these penalties. We could probably get probably get in that situation again. So. Um, I mean, that's, again, we weren't necessarily trying to overcome it. We were just trying to get back in field goal range. Ryan made a great run, the second one, and got the first and enabled us to get seven points, and that was huge. Oh, yeah, definitely stepped up after the first half. Uh, we came in here and made some corrections, and we kind of settled down. We knew we had to make some plays since the defense was, I wouldn't say giving up uh, big plays, but, man, it's, it's a total team game. So no matter if the offense is clicking, the, de the defense is clicking. So uh, Landry definitely played well. I don't know if it's like knowing which guys are standing out and making plays. I mean, I have confidence in all my receivers, like I said earlier. Um, it's just getting the ball to them and putting it on target, and they're going to make the plays for me. Now we're starting to find ourselves more as an offense, and we're starting to get things rolling a little bit more. We're, like, we're not as stagnant and stuff, and we, we come out there, and the offensive line just played great tonight. I had plenty of time to step up in the pocket, and we got the run game going, so it was really – it's really nice to see our offense have that balance tonight. It was a design play where, you know, I'm supposed to sit down. If the corner's off, just sit down. And if he's pressed, come inside. So he had, he was already off 9 to 10 yards. And I caught it and, you know, 
went upfield and made a miss and you know I was off to the races I was in the end zone and I just got a rush it was like a high and that felt real good to celebrate with my teammates after too.